I am being myself because I identify as a hyperdimensional, post-sexual, polyhumanist, gender fluid, with an E-squared apostrophe, hashtag me too, D to the double agio. I'm a really long list of labels and adjectives that I want you to memorize because I'm an individual. Yeah, it sounds ridiculous when it's worded that way, doesn't it? But that's exactly what's happening with some people. I've always advocated for people to be themselves. These kinds of people I'm talking about in this video have no clue what it is to be themselves. It's what's wrong with a lot of things. We put things in boxes and give them labels, and then act like things are so much more diverse because we've given them all these labels. Look at these diverse labels! And then when something doesn't really fit a label, it doesn't fit into a box, first we ridicule it for not fitting into one of the boxes, and we start bickering about what box it fits into more, and then by the time we create an entirely new box and a new label for it, the fad is over. We can't just enjoy it for its unusualness. I may happen to be gay, but that doesn't mean that gay is the primary thing that I identify as. I don't want to have to hide my sexuality, but my sexuality doesn't define me either. And so most of the time, not giving something a label and just letting it be awesome and letting it be an individual thing is the best course of action. It's alarming to me how many people act like the more labels you can apply to yourself and the longer your labels are, the more elite and oppressed you are, and therefore you are more important and deserve the majority of people's attention. Yeah, that type of crap needs to stop, especially when people are labeled as bigots for not being able to memorize all these labels, and, and not just memorize the labels, but memorize their order of importance. I would much rather be recognized as Kizum than to be recognized as just another gay guy on YouTube. If you want to be recognized for being you, then you actually have to be yourself. We are this close to gender not mattering, to race not mattering, to sexuality not mattering. We're this close to judging people mostly on merit and who they are as a person. Well, who they are as people. Let's not let things go backwards. Let's not let the current ebb and flow of society let us go backwards. We're so close. Let's not blow it because of some ideological bullshit on any side.